hey you guys welcome back to day 12 um today we're going to be talking about boundaries um but before i jump in there start off with my bible verse prepared like I talked about yesterday <laughs> we kind of just got home so it's been a long day but tomorrow I'm going to be working on a jacket that I designed for Malia so I'm going to let y'all watch me do the whole process from um, cutting it out, fitting it on her, see how it fits, putting it together. It might, it's going to be a long video. It might take a while. <laughs> uh, but I'm still trying to figure out this technology. I think I know how to speed it up so y'all can... You know, just watch me put it together and then see the end results. I'm a warrior. I might mess up. I typically mess up at least one time in the sewing process. But it's okay because that's the only way you can grow is if you mess up. If you never mess up, how do you know where to grow from? How do you know what's your weakness and to make it stronger but the bible verse for today is um if you listen to constructive criticism you will be at home amongst the wise proverbs 15 and 31 criticism it's kind of crazy how these uh bible verses been lining up with um with my topics because like I told y'all, I don't read the Bible like I should. So, I just be going off of the verse of the day. But if it got me lining up with what I got going on. Um, but today we're talking about boundaries. How do you know... How do you know when you should cross the boundaries? When you shouldn't? You know... If you're going too far, if you do cross it, how do you know when to stop? That is a tricky topic because it's like I told somebody the other day, you never know if, you, if you're making the right choices or the wrong choices until you get the end result. Kind of like playing chess. You never know if somebody go check your king or not until you look up and they right there in front of him and then that's game over. Then you gotta start over. I think that's the scary part about making decisions. You never know what are good ones and bad ones until you get to the point where you either get you to the next level or you have to start all over. And starting over can be hard and discouraging. But at least you got the blueprints of where you went wrong the first time so it could be a little easier the next time. But boundaries. People say they want help say they want advice but then when you try to help them or give them advice and it might not be the help that they want or the advice the advice they want to hear then you're the bad person so how do you know 
when to cross them lines to help someone and when not to. It can be challenging. Um, I know I've had my ways before when I wanted people to help me, but only in the ways that I wanted it to be helped. Like, only certain things, but the other things, I didn't want them to tell me what to do. I'm a bull. I'm hard-headed, and I don't like to be told what to do. <laughs> like, I don't mind advice, but I don't like to be told what to do. I like to be able to take the advice and calculate in my head for myself, will that advice work for me or not? Because everybody's everybody is not the same so that so everybody's situation might not might not in you know come to the same conclusion just because what you went through got a better thing their situation might be slightly different so if they try to implement what you did, it might make things worse. You never know. So, I used to feel like when God put something on my heart to tell somebody something or to, you know, well, basically to tell somebody something, I felt like I had to, like, beat it in their head. Because... When God tells you to do something and you don't do it, there's it's usually in in some type of bad blood, and then that blood is on your hands. So I took that literal. Like you gotta you gotta do this, you gotta do this because this is what God wants you to do, and I don't want this on my hands if you don't do it. But then. I had to realize and God made it clear for me that my job is to be a messenger and a messenger only. So I am, if you ask me, I give you my honest opinion or what I think in whatever situation it might be but everybody's different you know and I let people know up front like you know don't feel like you have to do it because this is what I'm saying I'm just letting you know from my experience and what I've learned this is my advice I mean, if you take it, great. If you don't, that blood is no longer in, on my hands. And you cannot blame me. Because I gave you my honest opinion. Um, yeah. Being a messenger can be really hard when it comes to boundaries. Because... Especially grown folks. <laughs> it's hard. You, you, when you're a kid, you're open. You're real open to life, love, dreams, all that. And then somewhere along the line, somebody hurts you. If it's verbally or um, mentally or physically. And... All that openness went away and you became closed in and set in your ways. And that's why it can be difficult trying to be a messenger when it comes to adults. Because they're stuck, they're stuck in your way and if you cross that boundary too much then you'll lose, it's like you'll push people into 
the situation, the very situation that you're trying to um, save them from. I feel like I was in a situation like that. Um, somebody was so scared that a guy might hurt me to the point they kick me out and push me right into the guy's house that they felt like I need to be saved from. And even though they was right about the guy, it was like you didn't give me time, you know, to learn for myself. You just pushed me straight into the situation, which made things harder, I feel like, to get away from the guy um, than if they would have just let me work it out on my own. And if I didn't want to see the guy no more, then, you know, we could have just part ways, but them kicking me out and I'm having to go live with the guy and then noticing that they was right is like a difficult situation especially with having a kid cause my kid grew a attachment to him she really loved him and he loved her like she was his kid, but me and him just wasn't compatible like we thought we was. So it's just, I think sometimes that boundary we we want to save people so bad but that it ends up hurting the person more and but what i've learned is it's not my job to save anyone just like people have made it very clear <laughs> that's not their job to save or help me in any kind of way which is totally fine that's their opinion feelings I can't force nobody to want to help me or whatever so I can't sit here and expect to save people that's God's job I'm just here to give you a message um, pray for you that you listen to the message and keep moving to the next person. Um, I've been learn trying to learn balance. When they say too much of anything can kill you, that is so true. Even the good stuff, too much of the good stuff can kill you. So it's like you got to find a happy medium in everything. Everything's about balance. Just like... I know I'm getting off subject a little bit, but the movie The Shack, that movie is so good. I don't know. I just love that movie. It had me crying. Every time I watch it, I cry. I'm a big cry baby. So, movies like that, I watch them alone because I don't like for people to see me cry. So, I watch them by myself. <laughs> and be in the room, boo-hooing. Yeah, that's, that's me. I'm that, that weirdo. But... In the movie, God took this really good plant and this really bad plant that could kill you and put it together and made this healing, um, basically like medicine. And the guy was like, why would you have something so bad? that it could kill you 
in the out here and that to me was like a metaphor for this world people always want to say well if God love us so much if he's really real why did he let the bad stuff happen first of all before you cross that boundary line <laughs> get it straight like he gave us free will when we decided to not listen and to make our own choices he gave us that free will to continue to not listen to him if we don't want to and to keep making our choices and for those who choose to listen are blessed and those you know you just keep doing you but that is why i believe god allows you to endure bad situations and see bad things so you can he wants you to understand why he say don't steal, don't kill, don't mess with other people's, uh, you know, spouses. Because that can result to killing. You know, disciplining your kids. Because if you don't discipline them, they grow up and be these rich people that feel like they entitled to stuff. That people should give them stuff just because... They used to having it. And it makes horrible people. And the older I get, the more I understand everything that God says what to do and what not to do. Because I chose to be nice to people no matter how much people have been mean to me. Or, I'm oh, sorry guys, it's kind of hard because I feel like it's very rare I, I run into nice people. And I used to think, why would people say, you're too nice or you know yeah like you're too nice and it's just I would think like what does that mean too nice and then you know you have people that try to manipulate manipulate your mind and control you because you want to see the good in everybody. Seeing the potential. Seeing the potential in people has got me in so many bad situations. Has got me, I feel like, so behind in life. But I had to cross those boundaries and see for myself. I'm a, I'm a hands-on learner, so I had to learn stuff the hard way, but now having a kid, 29 years old, my body is messed up. I'm tired of learning stuff the hard way, and I'm ready to learn, be smarter about the way I learn. Um. So how do you know when you're doing too much and when you're not doing enough? How do you know those fine lines, those boundary lines? I don't know. Each situation is different. I think you can feel it. Um... I say the best way 
to go about any situation is to try to help within your means. Um, and set your own boundaries, I guess, if you're going to help people. It kind of enforces people to give respect if they want respect. Um, if somebody needs somewhere to stay, let them. But set your boundaries that, you know, your house rules. Don't let nobody in your house, you know, they got to have a job and they got this amount of time to get out. Um, I believe that's fair because they could have been outside sleeping on the ground or in a shelter. Ouch. This cat. Um, so whenever somebody do something for me, I try my best to respect their space. Um, and then when it's time to go, it's time to go. God always let me know when I'm overstaying my welcome. It gets real clear. It'd be like, it's time to go. Because I'm acting the same way I've been acting since I got here. And all of a sudden, everything is a problem. So before uh, either one of us crossed that boundary and burned a bridge, you know, you just separate and distance yourself. Um, I have learned my boundaries for real. Um, I got clarity and open eyes to see the red flags and to really take them into consideration instead of just hoping. You know, I like to give everybody a fair, clear, you know, clean slot. Like, I try not to judge other people based off of other things that I experienced from other people even though they so, show the same red flags. Um, so I, I try to give everybody the same, you know, um, clean slate. But when I do, you know, cause I'm a very giving person I don't know what it is I just really love helping people I don't know if it comes from when I was younger my mom had like a massive stroke so she was basically like a baby to me even though I was in elementary school she was like my baby she had to learn how to walk and talk and write and everything so for the long time, it felt like I was the mama. Whenever she had to get some documents read and signed, I had to do that in elementary school. Reading documents, signing them. Um, I had to give her her medicine and shots. My sister had a baby like around that same time. So I'm taking care of my mom. And I'm taking care of my sister baby at like nine years old. And I think that formed a habit in me of taking care of people. And I have, but I was taking care of the wrong people. I noticed that I was always taking care of the wrong people that didn't appreciate the stuff that I was doing until I wasn't doing them no more and then they want to be mad at me like I'm the one that did something 
So I had to learn the difference between somebody that really wants help and somebody that is trying to manipulate you into getting what they want. Um, it hurts. Because you just want everybody to be happy. But I've learned some people are happy in their misery. And that is for real. Some people, they just like being miserable. I don't know if it's because they have become accustomed to it or they scared of the unknown. Who knows what it is, but I have learned to be okay to separate myself from people like that. Um, because I just want peace and happiness and I can't be around people that's constantly complaining about the same situation and you give them solutions and they make excuses for all of them. I can't be around negative people that want to tell you what you can't do because my God said anything is possible through Christ yes that's what he said so by you telling me something is impossible you're going against God yeah you are you telling me that God is a liar that's what you're saying to me and that's why there's so many people straying from God because a lot of followers contradict themselves and it makes people that haven't learned him yet um, hesitant to learn about him um, and just make them stray away and I don't want anybody I don't want to push anybody away from God I just want you to know yes sometimes the journey is hard um, Just like if you was a farmer. Actually, the farming process of growing the food is hard as heck. You got to make sure the birds don't eat the seed before it can sprout, you know, the roots. Then when they, the roots get in. And they start growing. Then you gotta make sure the bugs not eating at it. There's always. There's always an obstacle. But. God knew those obstacles. Way before you was born. Every obstacle you was gonna face. And he had a, he has a plan for each one to help you to overcome them, but it takes faith on if you will allow him to help you or not. Will you cross those boundaries with God? Or would you stay on the easier side? The, the road that most that everybody travel. The path is already clear. And you know directly where it goes. 
But with God, He makes a new path. The hardest part is about is clearing the path. But once you clear it, you realize it gets you there quicker than that that path that everybody else takes. And along the way, you get like goodies. You find like fruit, fresh fruit that you ain't never had before. <laughs> you might even find a nice jacket. I'm just playing, y'all. <laughs> nah, but seriously. Um, I don't want to say step lightly around people when it comes to boundaries. I say, if somebody wants your help or your opinion, give them their honest, your honest opinion. I say you owe them that much to be as honest with them as possible. I feel like I've only came to this point in my life because I had some real honest people around me did it hurt when they was telling me yes was i mad of course but after i sat and thought about it like they're right why am i sitting here mad about them being right i can either fix it and move forward or deal with what I'm dealing with and stop complaining about it. I feel like if you're not going to fix what is causing you pain or sadness or whatever, stop complaining about it and just deal with it. Or make a change. But either way it goes, you got to cross that boundary line. Yeah, take a leap of faith. I'm taking my leap of faith. I'm not perfect. Nobody is. But I'm working on me. It won't happen overnight. But as long as I stay consistent, I will grow. And I thank y'all for coming in, listening to me. You know what I say. Leave your comments. Let's talk. Y'all don't be wanting to talk to me. Why not? Why y'all want to talk to me? Y'all might help me learn something. Who knows? But let's talk. <laughs> you, this has been 30 Minutes with Nikki Young. And I'll see y'all tomorrow for the next topic. Y'all like my shirt? My, I got it from my orthodontics when I went and got my braces tightened. Woo. But I love y'all. Peace.